What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another career sim. Of course, this time it's of Jalen Hurts. I don't know how many, you know, second round players will do. Hell, I mean, we're kind of running these a little slow, so I don't know how many players in general are going to do, but I wanted to do Jalen Hurts because I think he's a bit of an intriguing player. Plus, we can kind of follow the career of Jalen Rager, assuming they keep him on the roster. Right now, we have him at number three. Maybe if he has a really good year, he'll be at number two, perhaps. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey is uh, 29 years old, so that receiving group, they definitely at least uh, looked at the position and worked on it, unlike some other teams I know that needed wide receiver. You say what you want about the Eagles, but they attempted to, uh, you know, they actually attempted to make their roster better. We know in real life, though, Brandon Brooks is most likely done for the season, unfortunately, but that doesn't really matter too much here because obviously Jalen Hurts isn't going to start right away. Uh, but we will, for like the first time in like ever, be putting on... I should have probably showed you defense because we have Davion Taylor starting, which is kind of ironic because he's a super late round pick. But since he's actually a decent player on this person's roster, he's good enough to start. That's how you know kind of rough this roster is really on defense at some positions. Uh, but as I was trying to say... Like and subscribe. <laughs> Got him. What? But yeah, as I was trying to say, we're going to be turning injuries on because Carson Wentz injury proneness, I suppose, is a pretty decently big deciding factor, I think, for the Eagles taking Jalen Hurts when they did. So uh, we'll see if, uh, you know, Jalen Hurts gets to play anytime before, you know, his time is up. I would say. I think Carson Wentz, was it 2023 they can cut him and uh, save money, I believe? No, it's 2022, I believe. So he's going to be the starter pretty much for the next two or three years. Uh, but we will see returning from injury Malik Jackson. I'm not really sure how much injuries are playing a factor. These don't matter too much, but I suppose, you know, increase the injury a little bit. Actually, no, we're going to ignore these because obviously there's nothing like that that actually increases your injury in real life. Maybe for, you know, the time being, but... Yeah, no, nothing long-term. Four and five Eagles, yikes. And yes, we did bid the world of Andrew, well, the, the NFL world of Andrew Luck. We, we didn't kill Andrew Luck, okay? I promise you wouldn't do that. Uh, but speaking of uh, the season, eight and eight, you know, a lot of teams, or a lot of people have been kind of figuring that's potentially what the Eagles do. We're not going to pay attention too much to the stats. I'm going to probably look at them on my own, but I'm only going to, you know, bring anything up if, you know, Jalen does our play. I almost said Hurts. Uh, so far, Carson Wentz, statistically not looking super great. 26 touchdowns, 14 picks. You know, that's not really impressive. Ground game was rough. Receiving Alshon Jeffrey, maybe superstar dev. I don't know. Uh, where the hell was Jalen? Rager barely played. What the hell did Goodwin play? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. If you say so, man. The Super Bowl between the Chiefs and the Saints has a Saints victory. So after the season has ended, this is what the roster looks like. So you can definitely make a safe assumption that Jalen Rager is going to be the new number two on the team. Uh, Jalen Hurts is a 70 overall quarterback. Not terrible, but okay, that uh, that arm strength is really low. Let me fix that. That is okay, dude. I thought he had a pretty damn strong arm, if I'm not mistaken, right? Am I wrong? I thought he did. Well, now he's a 74 overall after putting him at 90 throw power. Uh, looking at the defensive side of things, no dev ups. Oh no, Davion Taylor goes up to star, so a little bit of improvement there. Uh, lots of corners on this team that are solid. It's just injury and consistency is, is kind of the issue there. All right, first draft in the books, and looking at what's there, not bad at all. Uh, Reggie Winston, a free safety. This team could use safety desperately, so what's the development here? What's the damage? Star development, pretty good. I mean, it's still it's still a good pick. Second round pick, 16, really? They landed a 77 overall DT with normal. Normal development seems harsh. Another normal development, and, you know, pretty much after that, it's not going to look any better. But still, I mean, that's not bad for any, you know, by any means. We're in the playoffs at 9 and 7. I really do not care, you know, if we make it or not. Ooh, Carson Wentz with a really solid season here, though. Boys, I'm, I don't know. I think Carson's going to be the guy. Injuries are still on. Jalen Rager at the number two spot looked very good. Would it be enough for a superstar? I don't know. Once again, probably shouldn't be looking at defensive stats. But yeah, Jalen Rager, really good jump number year two. But Jalen uh, Hurts, yet to actually play. 
But here we are with this the the playoffs. Can they beat the Eagle or the Falcons? They can with a huge score. Who got hurt? Trevor Williams and Deshaun Jackson. Trevor Williams is gone, gone. Uh, the Cowboys, pretty good team. They are a pretty good team because they beat us, unfortunately. Uh, but they get to the you know the divisional round. Not bad at considering you know that injury prone team and getting on the older side. Uh, right now, it's going to be the Dallas. So we lost to the Super Bowl, you know, contending. I was about to say and winning, but Super Bowl contending uh, Dallas Cowboys. The Ravens win that one. <laughs> Man, did we have a hard rebuild on Thursday, I'm telling you. Looking at the dev ups, though, we do not have a dev up on offense. Unfortunately, Jalen Rager is the new number wide number one wide receiver. Probably going to put uh, our Sega Whiteside at number two because I think they're going to get rid of Alshon. Somehow, Davion Taylor is now a, a superstar player, and it might have come a little too late, but Brandon Graham gets back to superstar status. He is, you know, 33 anyways, but still would have been nice to see him you know, extend that career. And Sidney Jones, is he a free safety for him now? Did they move him to free safety? Either way, I'm going to put him there. Winston, new starting, well, starting strong safety of last season. Langham at number two. Uh, all right, okay. So they wouldn't be able to get rid of uh, Carson Wentz yet anyways. But even if they could, they probably wouldn't because that was a pretty decent year. We're going to have to keep on waiting because, of course, that's, that's kind of what Jalen Hurts is going to have to do anyways. All right, draft recap yet again. I don't know why. I just like, in, you know, it's interesting to watch this kind of stuff to me. Uh, they go with another really high overall player, but it's another normal pl dev player. We're going to move this guy to left guard, though. I would assume that's probably what they intended. I know the uh, the tackles situation at right tackles are getting old, old anyways, but yeah, I feel like that's probably what they would do. Another decent overall, but uh, kind of low. And, uh, damn, this was, this was kind of a rough draft. We head back to the playoffs, but we are not a part of them, even at a 10-6 and six season, which is brutal to say the least. Looking at Carson Wentz's numbers, it looks like he did in fact get injured halfway through the year. Jalen Hurts played, didn't really do too well himself. His completion percentage was high, but the picks were also a little high too. Uh, this is definitely going to factor in the decision, I think, for uh, Carson Wentz. Look at Miles Sanders looking good. Jalen Rager pretty decent. Everyone else, meh. But yeah, I think it really comes down to how well Carson plays the next season. I knew at some point he was going to get hurt. I just... Didn't know for how long, and it was kind of a decent bit of games. It would seem like it was at least probably about five, six games or so. And then looking at the playoffs, the Super Bowl, the Cowboys versus the Ravens, and the uh, nothing, no, nothing happens. They they just the, the the result is nothing at all. Looking at dev ups though, we do see a dev up for Mr. Miles Sanders, who now has superstar dev. And then Jalen Rager, who now has superstar development. Nice. Go to draft recap. Let's see what we got. And what we got is an amazing looking corner. Terrence McLean. Take a look at that. He's got to be an X Factor, right? He has to be. Really? I mean, it's still good. It's just like, really? Not X Factor. Uh, Gerald Spriggs. Meh. Right tackle Sullivan. And he is hidden. That's a huge win for them. Probably going to be actually playing tackle. Probably going to move into left tackle. Real quick, he'll probably be the starter over Dillard, who might... Damn it. He's star, but uh, that's not why I was mad. I was I accidentally clicked no when I wanted to move him to left tackle. But yeah, Dillard, I don't even know if he's on the team. I think there was a fifth-year option, option, and uh, I don't know if they would have taken it or not. And we make it to the playoffs? No, we don't, because we're 4-11-1. Carson Wentz appears to have played the whole season, but it really wasn't anything spectacular. It might almost be time for Jalen Hurts to actually start here in a moment uh 2022 so i mean after this season you know you could pretty much get rid of carson wentz for basically next to nothing you'd be saving money in the long run so i don't know i'm thinking this team might be looking to get rid of him. saints versus the browns let's see saints okay so let's take a look at the overalls if jalen hurts a similar or higher overall i think he should start he's an 80 overall what is carson wentz 86. Could they trade him? How old is he? 30? Uh, this is a tough one. To the Buccaneers for pick 23 is fair because their starting quarterback is 75 overall, Marcus Mariota. And I can't wait for Carson Wentz to go on to win a Super Bowl now. Jalen Hurts, the new starting quarterback, sitting at pretty good ratings. You know, 90 short, 86 medium, 87 throw on the run, and 81 pressure. I know deep is 71, but... You know, outside of Rager, there's really not a whole lot of deep threat around here anyways. Oh, there's not a whole lot of threat, let alone deep threat. 
Uh, Jalen uh, Hurts has a good chance to still do well this season because I think there's still just enough talent on the roster and hell, maybe the AI will actually add some sort of, uh, you know, receiver or so in free agency or the draft. Fifth-year option, Reggie Winston. Oh, we definitely give him a contract, right? I mean, I'm not, I know this is not supposed to be my business, but I would, right? Would you? I mean, he's like the highest overall defender we have at DB. We're going to go to the draft recap. Let's see what they drafted. They did have two first round picks, one of them being four and some pretty decently high overalls. This time, this offensive lineman they take does have hidden. What's his development? It is super. Okay, now that is a very good pick. 22 years old. That guy could be on the team for the rest of what's his name's career. Jalen Hurts. Assuming he has a career here. Freddie. Okay. Um, I think he'll play corner, right? Because if not corner, it's going to be free safety. And we already have Sidney Jones. He's like 27 there. And then they take Kelly. Another hidden development. What's the development here, though? It's going to be star. I thought maybe we had a chance at another superstar. Maybe an X-Factor. Uh, Lampman. Nice, terrible Boswell, even if these guys are hidden, really won't, you know, it really doesn't matter anyways, because they're so low of an overall, but hey, as far as drafts go, that that's pretty solid, three hidden development starters. All right, first season with Jalen Hurts as the starting quarterback will have us as an 8-8 eight eight team, okay, I mean, not the worst thing in the world, I'll show you guys we didn't like force any win, I mean, we didn't make the playoffs, so kind of a weird one to try and force wins on. Uh, but let's see how Jalen Hurts actually performed in his first year starting. Like we said, uh, 3,800 yards, 33 touchdowns, 17 picks. Not bad. Maybe a little more reckless with the ball, but overall, still a pretty good season. Re receiving Kenyon Kelly did pretty damn well. Uh, Rager was still pretty solid. Touchdowns were just a little down for the offense in general. Defensively, uh, sack totals, yeah, I mean... The team as a whole really, oh, good job, Duncan Wallace. The team as a whole really isn't working together too well. And the worst part is we have a lot of linemen that may actually all retire this instant. They might all be gone right now. Let's, oh, Saints and Rave, Ravers. Who's, what's that purple team? Okay, they didn't win. Ha, I told you, rebuilding the Ravens is tough, man. So, I mean, somebody's got to do it, right? Uh, so we do lose our center which means we're going to probably put Gory in at center for now and then just move everyone appropriately to a position that they can play. Of course, we're going to lose Johnson. We're going to lose Brooks soon. Kelly actually did go up to a superstar. Okay, so receiver on this team, kind of set. It's kind of set as long as they decide to keep the players. Uh, but who's going to play left guard? Jesus, I don't. I mean, I guess Baldwin's going to play left guard and then we'll probably move him over to... Oh, he's actually not that big. For some reason, I thought he was 6'7". Yeah, he'll probably just play guard full-time then. Never mind. Probably moving to right guard, though, just so we have, you know, superstar on the left, superstar on the right. But, yeah, this is probably the best uh, bet coming up next season. Ooh. They went for Alakon, and he went up to X-Fact. No? I know they got him as a superstar, but I, I would have thought he just went to X-Factor there. I guess not. Uh, we do have Badul here. Or Bedell. Let's put um, McLean at number one, I suppose. And then, I mean, I, I like it, right? They're, you know, need a left end. You need some, uh, you know, positions. But overall, not the worst team in the league by far. All right, looking at the draft recap. They landed a quarterback in round one. Mike Gleason. He's faster than, well, he's kind of faster than Jalen uh, Raker. Jalen Hurts. His development is star. I mean, that's interesting. I don't know if they don't... They probably had to pay him already, though, no? I don't even know. And then they end up with another really good player with normal development. They end up with a DT, DeAndre McFadden, hidden development. Okay, a little sneaky pick. Okay, that guy's starting caliber. This is another really good draft. This guy is kind of fast, too. I don't know if he's fast enough to play DN, but this team does need DN, so I don't know. Headed to the playoffs. We're still not in it. We are 7-9 and nine now. It's kind of like 50-50 tinkering nonsense. At least Jalen Hurts hasn't been hurt, injured yet. Uh, <laughs> Kenyon Kelly looking pretty good yet again. Rager, 799, four touchdowns. I'd like Jalen Rager to be the number one guy again, but this uh, Kenyon guy came around and they like him, I guess. Cox, Langham, 
14, 10, not bad numbers at all. And then there's that. Not really much more to show, though, because we, we can't even make the damn playoffs. Uh, Jalen Hurts' is overall might be you know pretty much stuck where he is, too, because he's 26, 27. This might be a, a short career for him, I'll tell you. The Bears 21-3 over the Titans for the Super Bowl victory. Any dev ups at all? Maybe Kenyon again. It is Kenyon Kelly. Uh, he's number two for now, but probably will be number one next season. Jalen Hurts needs 18,000 XP to, uh, to upgrade every time now, and he is 27. So, like I said, this could be a qu uh, quicker one. He might retire at 32, 33 or something like that, which, in fairness... We don't want every single one of them to be the exact same where they all go on to have Hall of Fame careers because not everyone's going to. Uh, Fletcher Cox pretty much on his final legs in, you know, this season, next season. So uh, let us go to the draft. Hopefully they go for a free agent. I don't know. D end, I suppose. Just pay money for a good defensive end already, damn it. All right, headed on to another draft class. I've got to check if Jalen Hurts is even still here. They might have let him go. Spikes, Lamar Spikes, a pass rusher. Okay, dude. Looking pretty good there. I'll take it. Development, though, is... Excuse me, but... Maybe they don't need to go for it. To be fair, they probably didn't. <laughs> Knowing our luck, they probably did go for a pass rusher. Uh, they go with a safety, which I don't know if... It, I don't think that was actually a huge need for this team, but I suppose. Star development for the safety. And then they go for yet another lineman, uh, Mr. Oscar Melvin. Really good draft. This team should be doing better, man. Superstar. This team's got to be doing better than this. This is insane. They drafted three. Was it three? Maybe even four superstar linemen. And then, of course, the rest suck. And we make the playoffs this time. 11-4-1. Jalen Hurts is only 28, 29 years old. Finally making the playoffs. Uh, but you never know. It doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you get there because... By week and all, could see yourself with a uh, you know a Super Bowl trip. 4,200 yards, 31 touchdowns, 8 picks. Did have a lot of rushing touchdowns, though. 8 rushing touchdowns for uh, Jalen Hurts. Receiving Jalen Rager back on top. Uh, and then you have Kenyon Kelly, 887, 6 touchdowns. Hurts still playing in the league, 884 yards. Defensively, uh, I mean, we'll take a quick look. 11 and a half sacks for Spikes. Not bad. Barnett with 11 uh, they played pretty much the same snaps, too, so nothing crazy there. And then picks, you know, not bad numbers, actually. Kicking, yikes. But pretty damn good year. Pretty, I mean, a lot of people had a really good season. So going against, oh, we got Ertz with his final season, most likely. Since this is his last season, I think we're going to actually watch these games. And uh, whatever happens, happens. Going to the end of the game, I don't know who has the ball at this point in time. But uh, nobody's scoring how great they are now. Great, great stuff, team. Uh, Got to give it to the defense, but offense... Okay, never mind. We're not giving anything to anyone. Zero points, Jalen. Yeah, I'd be looking to start that other quarterback. Not going to lie. You put up three points in a playoff game. Three points. Good job, Jalen. Two picks, zero points. The Devils. Once again, we lose to a team going to the Super Bowl... The Bears do win as well, or the Diablos, or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, let's see who's here, because, you know, once again, Jalen Hurts could be gone. Because, like I said, I'd, I'd debate it. I'd think about it, considering uh, no dev up, which kind of sucks. But he does go to an 85 overall. Could, you know, get to an 86. Ow, just punch the table. Could get to an 86. He's 28. Now, uh, we do see Jalen Rager go to uh, Superstar X Factor. Seems like it's not super hard for these wide receivers to dev up at all. Uh, offensively, we lose our right tackle, but... Overall, the you know the team does look intact. Uh, defensively, spikes. He was an X factor, but even if he wasn't, he probably would have had a good chance of developing up. Anyways, uh, even though to be fair, Derek Barnett did not dev up, and he's 30. That would have been a clutch time for him to get his. But regardless, we're gonna put Farley at the starting free safety spot, and I mean, hey, go for another season. Look at the draft to recap. For this season, they go for a 24-year-old who has normal. They go for another 24-year-old who has normal. They go for Zaire Ch uh, Chancellor. That was a terrible draft. All right, here we are. 2026 now. And they make the playoffs yet again. However, this time it's a 9-6-1 season. Jalen Hurts has his best year yet, which probably means he's going to be superstar. Definitely extend that career a little bit. Uh, Jalen Rager and Kelly with Mons. These two, they're a hell of a duo. They are uh, they are really good. 
Uh, sack totals, Lamar spikes with 12. They might have found themselves an all-timer in uh, in spikes. And ever since spikes came along as well, uh, Derek Barnett's played pretty well. So let's advance a week. Bird versus Bird. And another loss. The 38-7 to Cardinal loss is brutal. I just want to see one win, right? One win. Saints have been in the Super Bowl about four or five times now out of, like, what is it, seven Sims now, eight Sims? And they win another one. I would imagine they already won one before. Take a look at offense. See if Jalen Hurts devved up or if he's even on the team still. He is. He's now a 87 overall. Fair enough. 87 overall. Deep accuracy. He's still not his strong suit. But uh, that Excel and agility seems like it's up. No? They must be upgrading Scrambler. Oh, that's probably what it is. They're upgrading Scrambler and Improviser. No tight end around here. Offensive line, though, still intact, which is nice. Receivers look insane. Uh, Alakun obviously dropping a bit. Davion Taylor dropping a bit, I think. But Duel was not an X Factor th before this. Now he's an X Factor. McLean, how old is he? 27. This team is still in a pretty damn good spot. That's all I can really tell you. So, I mean, make it, you know, make the draft count and hope for the best, I suppose. Going to draft recap, we have a right end who is normal development. Uh, he's not a terrible player, he's just. He's normal development. Chris Connor, another normal development. They go with a tight end, Jarek Bussy. <laughs> similar to a different sounding name. Gabe Person, not a bad pick, I guess, considering he's a fourth rounder. So up, up there for one of their better picks. Going to put him on left outside linebacker. He's a higher overall there. He's going to start. And, I mean, let's move on. I mean, we had a bit of promise there from Jalen Hurts, who, uh, of course, now is superstar. So, you know. Maybe, maybe he has a chance at this thing. Starting off quite a little, you know, bit late, but, you know, that's a, kind of the new age thing, so perhaps. Here we are going to the playoffs. We are not in it. We go 9, 6, and 1. We're kind of like capped at that, like, 9 to 10 win situation. Although Jalen Hurts still playing really well. 4,300 yards, 40 touchdowns, 11 picks. Rushing, he added another three. Miles Sanders obviously kind of on the downside at the age of 31. Still decent, but... You know, a little bit worse of a performance. Jalen Rager, pretty, wow, really well, actually. Uh, Kelly just under 1,000 yards. Uh, I don't know who the hell Clay is. Stephen Clay, 77 overall tight end. I don't know where they got him, but had a pretty decent season. Defensively, we don't really care about blocking too much. It doesn't matter. Sack total. Spikes is just a god, man. I just don't know what to tell you. Bedul, uh, Bedell, whatever his name is, decent. Not going to talk about that guy because he was kind of trash. Okay, um... I don't really know what to say because it's a really solid team. We're just not consistently making the playoffs and we're not winning any games in the playoffs. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the Eagles are doomed. Bears win yet another Super Bowl and we'll see if, hey, Jalen Hurts is even on the roster anymore. He should be an X Factor if he is, though. He is an X Factor. No one else dev up, but no one else really deserved to. 30 years old, 88 overall. So, uh, really solid. Uh, freight train. Leapfrog, Jukebox, and Homer. Some of the worst ability combinations I've ever seen in my life. What is it? Because Scrambler? Yikes. That is not good. Never go Scrambler. Uh, and then looking at the other players on the defense, not really seeing anything other than, you know, people dropping an overall from regression. Uh, probably look back at that DB position, you know, 30 years old. That's strong. Farley's probably like 24, 25. Uh, but some, I mean, some of these guys are getting on the older side. 26. For Burdell, and then probably, yeah, 28 for McLean. Langham goes to star, but he's like 30, so it doesn't really matter. All right, another draft, another recap. We get a running back at pick 20 who is hidden. He's uh, an interesting kind of fella. He's a pretty decent-looking player. Let's see what his actual development is. It is only star. Yeah, it doesn't really look super great right now. Yeah, probably a pretty bad draft. Your best pick is a star development running back, and it's it is it is what it is. It's a running back. It doesn't really matter. Playoffs. Will we see them? We will not. We go 9-6-1 again. What can we do to do better? I mean, obviously, I can't really control it because we're not rebuilding this team, but what can the Eagles do to do better? I don't even know. Jalen Hurts, a little bit of a drop-off in produ production, but still, well, maybe not really, actually, because... Uh, Mims actually had a lot of rushing touchdowns, so not really a drop-off in production. Receivers did well as well. Uh, spikes. 
Talk about an absolute legend. He is something. We should probably take a look at um, Jalen Rager and Davion Taylor's career stat numbers because obviously they're uh, they're getting older. You know, they're definitely getting older. Jalen Rager's got to be, what, 30 by now? 30 on the nose, 10,000 yards, 88 touchdowns. This Kelly guy, you know, quite a bit younger, 27, not too far behind. Really good stuff. Davion Taylor with 16 and a half sacks, 5 interceptions, and 11 Hundred tackles. That's a lot of tackles. Let's take a look at the sack numbers. Spikes already with 50 in his four years in the NFL. That is insane. But once again, no playoffs. Like, what do we... <laughs> it doesn't matter with all those stats because we're just not seeing any playoff games. Honestly, at this rate, with how little we're seeing them, we're probably going to look at every single time we play in the playoffs. We're just going to watch the game, I suppose, because uh, it's not going to be that many anyways. You see the Raiders win a Super Bowl over the New York Giants. And Miles Sanders is with 11,000 yards, 81 touchdowns. Just thought I'd show that as well because he might be on the way out soon too. Draft recap, we see uh, an outside linebacker, Jose Dunlap. I would assume that probably means that uh, Barnett is gone or about to be gone. And start of element, thought maybe we'd have a chance at another X Factor. That'd be sick, but that's our new right end. We have a cornerback, Borden, which is not good. And then uh, Kari Knighton, not good either. So... One good pick in the entire class, which is yikes. Playoffs, yes. Yes, 10 and 6. The division really looking strong there. The lowest team was 9 and 7. Uh, and yeah, I mean, okay, good season. Uh, how old is Jalen Hurts now? 30, 31 maybe? Uh, Jalen Hurts really doing well though. You know, the picks might be a little high, but overall doing well. Miles Sanders lost his starting job to Mims over age issues, I guess. I don't really know. Miles Sanders probably would have done better than that anyways. Uh, and then defensively, Dunlap. Yikes, man. Give it up to Spikes, who's killing it. But but Dunlap, where the hell is he? Num one sack on 900 pass rush attempts, if you will. And I wasn't joking. We, uh, we literally will not see many opportunities in the playoffs, it would appear. So I am going to watch the game. I don't care. <laughs> We're watching this. And uh, hopefully we see one Super Bowl trip from Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. One. That's all we want is one. Okay, it's looking okay. Oh, is that us to the left or right? It is, isn't it? Damn, we should have had a touchdown there. Offense actually putting up points in the playoffs, which is shocking. <laughs> what are the playoffs anyways? Here, though, we're down by one. We're not finishing drives. There's a good finish on the drive. And this is not looking good. What's the situation? Great D. Going to be an overtime situation. Offense has a chance to close it out. They do, and they win the game. Moving on to the divisional round, they at least get one legit playoff win. Miles Sanders got the majority. I don't understand that, how he got the majority this time, but he didn't in the regular season. I, I do not get it at all. Kicking, we missed one. Good job, Gary Bush. But we won a game. Hey, things are happening, right? Once again, how old is Jalen? Is he 31? I'd say 31, right? And don't worry about the Kojaks because he's we're, we're pretty much max. Like, the only thing we can get is, like, free agency or re-signing traits. And, I mean, we're 10 overalls on the Ravens. I knew this team would be, you know, good because it is a high overall. But I didn't know it was that much better than everyone else. So, you know, this is going to this is gonna suck when we lose. But I'm not going to restart because everyone's going to cry about it. Everyone siding. Imagine siding with EA. Yikes. I couldn't, couldn't be me, dude. Ah, oh, crap. We're going to have to actually kick return this. Do they have old Miles Sanders back there returning kicks, too? This doesn't make sense. I try to truck him. Maybe should have stiff-armed. All right, going to the end of the game. Oh, the drive was so good. And once again, we just can't finish drives. I don't know what it is. Right now, it's looking pretty bad for both teams on offense. We do drive down and do not get points again. It's the second half, and it's all tied up at seven. What a weird game. We do score, though. Ah, oh, this is a very ugly game, and we win by three. Nobody deserved the win. If there was a game that could end up in a tie and nobody advances, that would be the one. Because, holy crap, nobody deserved to win that game at all. Sack totals, uh, Amos, a former first-round pick, I believe. Was he, for, he was a former decent pick, I believe. Ooh, Badgley missed. Gets the only sack on the team. Oh, I wish we had DeMarcus Lawrence. Well, to be fair, DeMarcus Lawrence is probably retired at this point. Yeah, but Spikes is a hell of a pick. He's he's definitely uh, definitely Hall of Fame worthy. I mean, obviously he has to still finish his career, but looking good. 
And not looking good is us going against the 88 overall Giants, who just got done going to the Super Bowl. I think they did lose to the Saints, but they still made the trip, which is more than I could say about this team and potentially what this team will do, because I don't think we're... I don't know. I just don't feel good about this win in the snow. I guess that really doesn't affect... Yeah, that does actually factor in, because... Barkley's probably going to do better on the ground than we will because for some reason we just run the ball poorly even though we have good backs and a really good offensive line. Yeah, we lost. Not a chance. This team keeps up with 20, almost 20 points there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a little reverse psychology. This is a good game though, I will say. 28-26. to 26. Nobody can play defense. Touchdown, I believe. Five minutes left. Down by four. Offense moving the ball well. What happened? I'm coming in. I'm coming in. This isn't cheating. The clock is running too. Yikes. Participating is not cheating. I don't know. Freaking. That <laughs> sounds like you're talking about an orgy. He's got to run that in. He doesn't. What a klutz. What an absolute loser. How? And absolutely gapped. Gapped. Gaped. If he doesn't slip on that play, he has it easy. Because he almost recovered anyways and scored. I don't know. Maybe I made a wrong call. I don't know. Obviously, I probably should have went with something a little more uh, a little more creative. But I wanted to clear out the inside for the most unlikeliest guy to get the ball. And it was a great play call. You know? I mean, you've got whoever Spillman is burned by three yards. But if he doesn't fall down, you know, I couldn't wait any longer. It was right then and there. Maybe it could have stepped up like right here, but even then, I think we would have gotten caught. It's unfortunate. I blame whoever that crap tight end is. Hopefully, they replace him. Jalen Hurts played a really good game, but it just wasn't enough. You got fake kicked on. Yikes! Yeah, we didn't deserve to win. You get you get special team faked on. You you deserve to lose. Honestly, Giants are gonna finally get their chance over the you know they lost to the Saints. They do beat the Jaguars as expected. Jalen Hurts at the age of 32 is a 90 overall. Uh, has not started to regress yet. Uh, that deep accuracy is still a problem. Play action is is terrible. I don't know if that has anything to do with any. I'm just gonna upgrade that honestly. Uh, what, what can I get rid of? Can I drop like a little bit of awareness? What's his awareness? Let's drop that awareness level by like four. I just don't want to get his play action so high that he's like a 99 overall. Okay, that's fine actually. That doesn't... Like play action being 51. How are you a 90 overall quarterback with 51? It worked out though. You know, we actually probably made ourselves worse. We lost four awareness and then the play action didn't even give us any uh, overall at all. So I don't know what to tell you. But either way, I don't really... You know, it is what it is. Uh, it's... You know, we lost... Uh, what is it called? We lost for awareness. We gained play action. No overalls changed. Everyone wins, right? Then again, I don't even know if play action matters because obviously you're seeing really good seasons from him anyways. Pick 29. Terrible first pick. Terrible second pick. Uh, terrible third pick. And then here's the one that we all seen at first glance. Yep. About to say, this is the one we all seen first glance for sure because he was, you know, he's 71 overall. But... I don't know what you do with him because you don't really need another DN. You literally just draft a one even though he's trash. He still is the best option. So, I don't know. I'm just going to let them worry about it. Playoffs time again. Super Bowl chance again. We do get a bye week. Okay, 11-5. You know, things are starting to look pretty damn good. I don't know if everyone's just getting worse or we're getting better. You know, I haven't really been paying attention to the free agent signings too much. Uh, looking at Jalen Hurts, he's having a really good career statistically. He just needs to get a couple of super uh, playoff wins under his belt, and hell, some Super Bowl wins wouldn't have you know hurt too much. Warren Hancock, I don't think that guy's that good of an overall, so a little surprised that he actually played as well as he did. Sack totals, spikes is just there's some players that have it. I don't know what Tracy has that's causing this, but he has just been consistent across the board. Let's actually take a look. Because, I mean, I don't even get this consistency from, like, already developed great players. Lamar Spikes. How good is he? He was, like, a dual style. Is that why, maybe? I mean, really not much. Power move, 99. 77 finesse. 84 speed. Spin move, bull rush, and strip ball. Okay, interesting. But either way, here are the uh, the playoffs. Not bad. Um, at least we've made it, right? I would assume, I think, 33 is when you start regressing at QB, right? Seahawks, 86 overall, us, 90. I think if we make it again next year, next season, if we don't make the Super Bowl here, 
we're probably going to just start simming them because we actually have been making the playoffs, so I don't want the video to be too long and you know show constant loss after loss. Jaguars looking like they could make a repeat trip to the Super Bowl. Jacob Eason is the quarterback for the Seahawks. Starting drive, touchdown for the Seahawks. Second drive, three points. We are pretty much just giving away the ball instantaneously. 13-0, even though you drive all the way down, zero points yet again. 21-0, finally points. It's the start of the fourth. You have seven points on the board. Uh, yeah, we're not watching this anymore. We're, we're, not watching, uh, we're not watching this crap anymore. We're just going to let it sim. Jalen Hurd's very average. I mean, they didn't even play well. How many kicks did we miss? None. We just didn't. Okay. Forget I said anything, team. Doesn't matter. I don't know if players retired just yet, so let's take another look at uh, Miles Sanders' career because you know, he's definitely... Oh, he's gone. I, I forgot about that. Did he just go or was that before? Just go or disco, am I right? No? Okay. Um, Jalen Rager, 12,000 yards, 111 touchdowns. Nice. It's Davion Taylor. Daily. Davion Taylor is still around. Spikes. Oh, filthy individual. Just so good. Seahawks versus uh, a different team. And the winner of that is the the other team. I don't know to what the hum. All right, let's take a look if we have any regressions. Hell, Jalen Hurts could be off the roster. He is not, but he did indeed regress. He lost one mid, one throw under pressure. So I would say after this season is when you're going to see a huge drop off. Uh, Jalen Rager at the age of 32 is still kind of balling. He dropped a bit, but I mean, he's still really fast, still really good. Uh, offensive lineman, I think Sullivan's been regressing. Yeah, Sullivan has regressed. So this is the window. This is the time. Hancock, uh, he did go up in you know, development. So maybe he's actually got a chance at 25. He's, you know, maybe maybe I didn't give him enough credit. Hubbard, 20 years old. He probably went up in dev, didn't he? No, he was already superstar. Either way, team needs a new corner. Team needs a new strong safety. Team needs linebackers. And none of those are going to be addressed, right? All right, looking at the draft recap. They end up with a left tackle who has normal development nice good pick wide receiver lowell who's terrible and then Jaden lewis who is as they say terrible so yes but also no they needed things and they they failed so i noticed something that was kind of weird before we were gonna advance into the season but apparently the eagles actually have continued to pay mike gleason which makes zero sense. I don't know if this is why a lot of teams do fall apart. Is because they pay backups. And how Jalen Hurts is worth literally nothing. I really do not understand. But oh, okay. I will say uh, after this season. I believe Jalen Hurts is a free agent. So I, I have no idea how it messed up. But we're just going to keep going because it's almost over. Headed to the playoffs, we are in them at a 10-6 and six record. Wow, this division has really come back from the grave. Jalen Hurts, pretty good season. Deshaun Mims, I just don't like it. Rager and Kelly always fighting for the number one spot, which, I mean, I don't know. Do they really care? Apparently, uh, Stephon Diggs did, but, I mean, as long as you're making it, look, it's Lamar Spikes is so good. He's actually on par to become, like, one of the greatest of all time, which is insane. Don't really care for the awards because I don't think there's really going to be much to talk about. We're going to sim this one because we've made the playoff. <laughs> we made the playoffs a couple times and unfortunately we already lose to the Panthers. Uh, the Packers versus the Steelers about 20 years later refacing off and similar score to the real life one. 27 to 24, the Packers win again. Let's take a look at Oh, actually, there's resign periods. So we should wait because they might actually get rid of Hurts. If not, it's probably going to be a tag situation, I'd imagine. All right, ADT. I mean, it looks like our overall is pretty good. So Hertz is probably still here, right? He is, and he has regressed a tiny bit. Not, you know, nothing crazy. Throw power by one. You know, nothing insane. How old is he? 34? 34 years old. So let's go to the draft and see if they can squeeze out one more run. Realistically, it should be able to squeeze out like two more or three more runs. Of course, uh, Jalen Hurts a little bit lower of an overall than everyone else that we've done so far at this point. 34-year-old Cha Chauncey Johnson. Okay. Uh, new center and a cornerback. Oh, this team actually is kind of kind of screwed. Who do we lose? So looking at the team. How old is Mims now? 26. He's just not developing. I thought he was regressing. That's how... Oh, Jalen Rager. Could be his final season in the league. 
I mean, I would say he'd probably play one more after this, but you never know. O-line, we lost our center, but the guards are fine. Sullivan needs to be replaced soon, and Weeks is probably like 27, 28, 31? Excuse me? Uh, defensively, Hubbard, who's probably like 30, just about 30. Yeah, this team, uh, it's falling apart. Uh, forget anything I said. It, it needs to happen now. All right, viewing the old contracts, we have 272 overalls. Okay, one's a linebacker with a hidden. He is a fast coverage guy. This guy should actually be a huge steal. He is... Oh, he's a major steal. As far as coverage linebackers go, that is one of the best I've seen. He's fast. He's young. X-Factor obviously helps. Ooh. Kedrick Branch, uh, normal development. Right tackle, Vaughn Locke, normal development. And... I believe that's probably going to be the only ones. Yeah, the only one. So that linebacker is really good. The rest of the draft was kind of trash, but as, you know, it's, it's still good. So we may or may not have missed the playoffs at 7-9. and nine. Obviously, I have no reason to force lose anything, so I'm not going to show it. Jalen Hurts appears to have a pretty much exact same season. Mims actually had an improved season. A weird receiving season, though. You had Rager with the most catches, but not the most touchdowns and barely the most yards. Uh, who the hell is Lowell? The guy sounds familiar, but I, I don't know. Offensive line, I mean, pretty average stuff as far as NFL Sim or Madden Sim goes. Sack total spikes, just absolutely legendary. Chauncey, nice couple of picks. Eddie Pinheiro missed quite a bit, though. So, another decent season from Jalen Hurts, and it's going to be another wasted year for him in his uh, hopeful uh, you know, Hall of Fame career, but I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. He's going to have to win a couple of Super Bowls here if he wants to. All right, so resign period. Is Jalen Hurts still on the team? 87 overall. I would lean towards yes, but I don't know. He's not. So they went with Gleason, who is now 30, which begs the question of why. Uh, I don't know how much, you know, Jalen Hurts regressed, but we'll, we'll take a look. Jalen Rager also has one final year, so we're going to have to try and remember. Hopefully the Eagles make the playoffs so we can actually see. Actually, what does go week 17, and then uh, we'll know. So, every team, where is the man? Jalen Hurts is a Jacksonville Jaguar. We're going to Jacksonville, boys. Yeah, they're quite a bit worse. They're an 81 overall, so... Uh, I mean, once again, it's not even only his choice, but it might have been. And he's going to a way worse situation. When your number one and number two receivers are white, as a white guy, I can probably say this, it's probably not a good idea, right? I mean, your odds are very low. They do have this Melvin Fisher guy. He looks kind of like a long shot, but... Star development, Young. I, that's weird timing. Mean, Tevin Young. Uh, okay, dude. Uh, offensive line. I mean, this is a bad situation. This is this is terrible. I'd be putting Kirby Parker at right guard. Screw the center spot. Ah, oh, this is a bad, bad team. This is a terrible team. Okay, dude. Best of luck to you, Jalen. They're probably going to end up drafting a QB anyways. Look at the draft recap. Who did they draft? I mean, not bad in fairness, right? Not terrible. I don't really care what their developments are. I just want to know if they have hidden or not. That's literally it. Uh, that guy could have been a little bit of a steal for him, but he wasn't. Actually, as far as 10 goes, I do kind of want to look at that hidden now. Pick 10. He better have a superstar. Yikes. Not a great draft considering how much they needed. They needed like four starters to even have a chance this year. And they landed one. So look at those career stats because we might have the whole damn league retiring here. Uh, Jalen Hurts, pretty solid career, but... Didn't cap it off with any... Wait, what, how is this young guy? I mean, everyone's pick to touch on a pick ratio is like 3 to 1, which is just hilarious. Uh, see Mr. Jalen Rager. 14,544 yards, 127 touchdowns. Kelly with 107. He's at 31. So he's got three years. I mean, in realisticness, if Kelly is the number one for their team, he might actually outshine Rager if he's got three more years under the belt. There's a very good chance... As far as our season goes, the Jaguars and Jalen Hurts, it's an 8-7-1 season that just does not cut it. Uh, another really consistent season from Jalen, it's just this time he goes to a team that just does not have it. They just do not have the talent to get the job done. So he, if he wanted a chance, he should have stayed in Philly. Those chances are pretty much over unless this was only a one-year deal and you know, he gets to move on somewhere else. But then again, for all we know, he might retire. Patriots versus the Lions, very interesting one there. And the winner is the Patriots. Let's take a look at that uh, that retirement potential. Ah, damn it. Once again, I don't think Jalen would have retired just yet. Could things go my way, please? Thank you. Please. 
So uh, we do see a couple of real life names: Irv Smith, Wills, Jalen Rager retires after 15 seasons. Once again, I don't think we would see uh, Hertz just yet. We're pretty close though. He'd probably be like 36, 37 when he retires. See if he's on the team still. For his sake, hopefully not. He's not. Okay, so we'll, we'll have to take a look at what team got him this time. Or did he? Is he gone or is he a free agent? Like, did nobody want him? Maybe he did retire and I just missed it. Because he'd be, what, 35, 36? I mean, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see him, so I don't know. There are some... Uh, <laughs> Minshew's a Super Zora X Factor. There are some names here, but... I don't think he would have been that low of an overall. Where the hell is he? Surely he's on a team now, right? Ah, there he is. Uh, Jalen Hurts must have just not gotten signed in free agency. He's on the Cardinals. Arizona, here we go. <laughs> it's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, that's the wrong one. 82 overall team. 84 offense. He has a McCoy who is 25. So he's you know, very young. Definitely got uh, some years in him. 27 for Charles Clark. So not a bad group. Definitely way better than the other group. Running back is a little bit on the older side, and he hasn't really ever developed. Offensive line looks pretty decent. So as far as, you know, one season goes, he's definitely in a better situation here. They do have uh, two decent, well, one decent corner at least. Tay Burnett, who's 25. And then Mr. Trucks, who's 31. Must have had a long, good career. Uh, Benson. I mean, it's a definitely a much better team, like by far. It's way better. So, I mean, maybe he does actually have a chance at the playoffs. It is a tough division, I'd imagine, still, but we'll see. All right, here we are, head to the playoffs. Are we in them? Uh, I want to see a little sneaky playoff trip. 6-10 and ten for the Cardinals, led by Jalen Hurts. A little bit of a down year, but it's still nothing, you know, crazy bad. It's enough to get to the playoffs if the team is good. So I'm a little surprised he didn't make it, but I suppose he could have done better. He could have been insane, but it was still very solid. And it's the Giants versus some some bird. And the bird wins. Jalen Hurts is on the Chiefs, and it would appear he's probably on his final season. He is a starter, though. Okay, we're going to Kansas City. Okay, dude. This is kind of exciting for some weird reason. 82 overall Chiefs led by Kyle Shanahan. Okay, dude. Oh, he's a rookie? Why the hell wouldn't they start him? This is such a bad decision by them. What's his development? He is only star in fairness, but... All right, Jalen Hurts gets the lead in offense yet again. All right, here we go to the playoffs, and the winner of that playoff spot is the Chiefs. I know you're not thrilled with the loss, Kyle, but yeah, whatever, who cares? 8-8, eight eight, well, the rest of the division is lower on the end. Jalen Hurts with a pretty solid season, 36 touchdowns, 3,800 yards. Could this potentially be the season he does it? It's a pretty average team, but could this be it? Could he actually win? He's going against the devil himself. And they lose, unfortunately. Uh, I'm assuming he hasn't retired just yet, so we can probably take a look. And last look at those career stats. 53,938 yards, 464 touchdowns, 151 interceptions, 75% completion percentage, and passer rating of 117. Sacked 322 times in his career, which doesn't seem like that much, right? I don't think. Jalen Hurts did finish his career with 3,700 yards rushing and 44 touchdowns, which I'd, I'd like to believe is pretty high on the all-time quarterback rushing list, right? It might even be number one. Vic would have been pretty high, too. Then Now, Vic would have been higher than that, right? I think Vic's over 4,000, at least. Either way, I think this might be the uh, Jalen Hurts era gone. Let's take a look right now in the transactions. I can't imagine they leave him stint one more year. A bunch of coaches retired away. Is that it? Or did we not go far enough? No, we didn't go far enough. I don't think I would ever announce my retirement unless I was A, re super ready, and B, I knew what teams were going to you know, be fired, you know, what teams were going to have uh, openings. Like, what if your dream team opens up just because they had a bad couple of years? I'm, a I'm having a seizure here. Like, get to the right thing, pal. It's not that hard. We do see Lamar Jackson has retired and Jalen Hurts, after 17 years, has retired from the NFL that is the Jalen Hurts career, well, I guess the Jalen Rager as well, career sim video, lots of fun, this was a good one, I, uh, that's all I can tell you, is is a good one, and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys did enjoy, if you guys like these, and you want to see more, maybe like and subscribe, 
Follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care. Check out the second channel, PKR Plays. Maybe follow me on Twitch at Jerome Care. That's, you know, put the little slashy, whatever, dude. It's not hard to find, kind of, probably. And also, the main thing, let me know in the comment section below who you want to see next. We have done a few so far, so you're probably going to suggest one we've already done. But if I haven't, maybe I'll do it. Regardless, hope you guys did enjoy. I can't remember if we had a video earlier or later, but two videos total today, maybe even two tomorrow with the you know the rebuild upload he has too. What the hell? So much content. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.